I think there are three important highlights. The biggest highlight is the um, Checkmate 214 trial, which is presented um, by Bernard Escudier, looking at Ipinevo with a regimen where Ipi is given at one per mg per kilogram and Nevo given at three milligrams per kilogram compared to sunitinib. And we saw in this phase three trial higher response rates, higher PFS, and significantly improved overall survival for the immune therapy compared to sunitinib. This was particularly true in patients who had intermediate and poor risk uh, uh, clinical factors related to their tumor. Um, and the Ipinevo regimen was, looked like potentially better tolerated than sunitinib as well. So to me, that suggests that Ipinevo is going to be the, come the standard of care front line for patients with metastatic kidney cancer, and that sunitinib and pizopinib are going to be used a lot less. Um, two other studies that I think are important here one was a follow-up study on the Emotion 150 trial, which looked at a Tezo and Bev versus Sunitinib in a randomized phase two comparison. And what the poster looked at was how the two arms behaved if you looked at instead of strict resist criteria, but immune-related resist criteria. And what we saw was that the immune-related resist criteria led to better median PFS for the Atezobev arm, but didn't influence the PFS for the sunitinib arm. And it just suggests that it's much fairer to evaluate immunotherapy regimens looking at immune-related resist or landmark um, immune-related resist than using the criteria that have been developed for tumor-targeted therapy or anti-angiogenic therapy. And the third trial that I think has impact that was presented here was an update of the Cabo Sun trial, which was looking at cabozantinib versus sunitinib in patients with intermediate and poor risk patients. And it updated overall survival data, which showed that the overall survival data was better for cabozantinib than sunitinib as well. And um, that's reassuring to see probably will support approval for CABOSAN in the intermediate to poor risk patients in the, for CABO in the intermediate to poor risk patients in the frontline setting. But I'm not sure that it'll bump uh, Ipinevo from being the preferred treatment in that patient population.